Hello, I'm Patrick Price, and it is an honor for me to be a virtual artist in residence for Sea Alaska Heritage Institute. Part of my artistry is storytelling. So today I would like to bring to you all a story about octopus and raven. So long ago, long, long ago, when humans were depicted as animals and animals were depicted as humans, Raven was flying along and he came across the beach with some elders sitting on it. He also saw old woman octopus down on a rock near the low tide. Well, Raven flew down to the beach and he started talking to the elders. He says, Oh, what's octopus woman doing down there? I wonder if she's digging clams. And the elders looked at him and said, Oh, Raven, you know, you should just leave octopus woman alone. She looks pretty busy. Well, Raven, being as curious as Raven can be, and also very mischievous, decided he was going to walk down there anyways and ask old woman octopus what she was doing. And he waddled down the beach and right up to octopus woman who was standing on the rock. And he walked around the rock looking on one side and then walked around the rock and looking at the other side and there was old woman octopus with her basket and a stick digging in the mud. And he said to her, after looking into her basket, Octopus woman, what are you doing? Are you digging clams? And octopus woman just looked up at Raven and looked back down and kept digging with her stick. She didn't answer him. So Raven got even more curious. And he jumps up on the rock and he looks down into the basket and he looks at Octopus Woman with her stick and he looks Octopus Woman right in the face and he says, Octopus Woman, what are you doing? Are you digging clams? And Octopus Woman didn't even look, look up at him this time. She just kept on digging, didn't pay him no attention. So, Raven fluffs up his feathers and walks around the rock one more time and looking around and then sticking his, head, sticking his head right into her basket, right on in there, pulling his head out and looking up at Octopus Woman. Octopus Woman, are these clams that you're digging? Octopus Woman didn't say a thing. She didn't even make any any kind of notice of Raven even being there. So Raven's just so curious now. And again he looks into her basket and looks down at her digging with her stick. He looks at her with her cloak over her shoulders and her long black braids. Coming down to the water, she was just digging with her stick. And Raven gets right into her face, he looks at her right in the eyes, and he says, Octopus woman, are you digging clams? She didn't answer him. So he asked her again, even louder. Octopus woman, are you digging clams? Are these clams that you're digging? Well, octopus woman, she didn't like getting talked to so close to the face and also so loud and annoying by Raven and her long black braids 
turned into giant arms with suckers all over them. And she reached up and she grabbed Octopus by the shoulders. And she brought him closer to her. She also reached down with her giant tentacles and grabbed a hold of the giant rock they were standing on. And she looked at him and she said, Yes, Raven, I am digging clams. It is clams that I'm digging. Well, by then, the tide had already started rising and it was at their ankles. Raven said, okay, okay, I get it. It's clams that you're digging, I understand. An octopus woman pulled him even closer in with her tentacles. She looked at him right in the eyes and she said, Yes, Raven, let me answer your question. It's clams that I'm digging. I'm digging clams. Well, by then, the tide had come up even further and was up to their waists. <laughs> Raven, a little bit nervous, but not too nervous. I said, oh, okay, okay, I understand that it's clams that you're digging, and that you're, you're digging clams, okay. Now you can let me go, and I'll be on my way back up the beach. But Octopus Woman held fast, hard onto that rock, and right around Raven. And she said, Raven, let me answer your question, that it is clams that I'm digging, yes. I am digging clams. And Raven, now getting nervous with the tired water coming up to his chest, laughed nervously, says, oh, okay, I, I get it, I get it, I get what you're doing, you're digging clams, okay, and you let me know now really well that you're digging clams and that it's clams that you're digging, so you can let me go now and I'll just be on my way, okay? Thank you. Well, Octopus Woman, still annoyed with Raven's many questions, pulled him even closer so they were eye to eye and held fast onto that giant rock and said, Raven, let me answer your question. Yes, if it is clams that I'm digging. I have been digging clams. I now the water was up to their chins. And Raven, getting very nervous now, said, yes, okay, okay. I understand you're digging clams. Please, please just let me go. I understand that it's clams that you're digging and that you're digging clams and you can let me go now and I'll just be on my way. Thank you, okay. But by then, it was too late. And the tide had come up and over their heads and with one last bubble of air from Raven, the tide went up and over their heads. So the elders on the beach saw all this happening and they said, ho, 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 Raven, you messed with octopus woman too much. She can hold her breath a lot longer than he can. And after a little while, yes, they saw Raven's body float lifelessly up to the surface of the ocean and wash to the beach in the tide. Now, the old people, they said to themselves, well, look what happened. Raven messed with octopus woman too much. And now he is dead. But luckily enough, Raven always comes back to life. And so, King Fisher, who was Raven's cousin, came flying by and saw Raven washing up into the shore. She flew down to him and grabbed him up in her arms and said, oh, Raven, what have you done now? Well, I will use my medicine to 
heal you. And so King Fisher brought Raven back to her longhouse and she used her powerful medicine on him along with some song and some dance. And sure enough, the next morning, Raven came rising up and out of the longhouse alive again. But Raven never questioned Octopus Woman what she was doing ever again. And that is the end of my story. <laughs>